Well, John, many congratulations. How does it feel to pick up the Community Cohesion Award? Absolutely blown away. You know, just wasn't expecting that. You know, huge honour to come down. Usually passionate about um, the young people of Blackburn with Darwin. So to be nominated for this award is um, on behalf of myself and, and David. It's um, absolutely unbelievable. Tell us a little bit about the work that you do. Yes, yeah, so um, back in 2008, we discussed setting up a local charity and also a community interest company called uh, Streets UK and uh, what we do is we engage with young people using sport as a vehicle and whilst they're involved in the sports we mentor them on a wide range of social issues ranging from gangs, drug dealing, antisocial behaviour so on and so forth and uh, we got some really good news last year we got all the programmes accredited by AQA so it's really having a massive impact on helping young people understand the value of their education it's going from strength to strength. Mohammed, many congratulations. How does it Thank feel you. to get your hands on the Community oh. Cohesion Award? Uh, absolutely blown away. Uh, all the fi finalists were absolutely amazing. They're involved in amazing bridge building work, amazing work which is promoting community cohesion, which is much needed at this moment in time, uh, especially considering the various incidents over the last few weeks and tensions are high. And really, really, we, at this moment in time, we really need communities to pull together. Tell us a little bit about the work that you do. I manage a, a number of projects, uh, some which are paid, some which are voluntary. Uh, my paid work generally is around preventing violent extremism, challenging uh, extremist ideology and rhetoric on both sides, be that right wing or Al Qaeda based extremism. Uh, a lot of my voluntary work I do, I run a project called Experiencing Ramadan, which is an opportunity for people. Uh, of all faiths and none to come together and join a Muslim community to fast for a day, uh, to raise money for charity, but also then join the Muslim community to break their fast uh, and really learn more about Ramadan. Uh, a project we launched last year uh, was Iftar with the Homeless, which was the first time we thought one of the key teachings of Ramadan is you really uh, create an empath empathy uh, with those who are hungry and poor. So we thought, what better way to actually go and break your fast with those who are hungry and struggling to feed themselves and which are the homeless really. Uh, so we kind of just decided to uh, do that on Pres Preston Flag Market and we thought, oh, we'll, we'll get about five or ten people from the Muslim community. Uh, we'll, we'll probably end up serving about 30 or 40 of the homeless. We ended up getting between 100 and 200 people from the Muslim community. We had so much food, it was unbelievable, uh, and we all ate, but we also shared our food uh, with the homeless community as well. Uh, run a few other projects, Unveiling Islam, which is around building bridges with different faith communities. Uh, I deliver workshops in schools, churches, and other organisations as well. I'm trying to remember all. I've lost it, I've forgotten a couple as well, so it's, uh, it's been such an amazing night. I've kind of uh, blown away. Uh, it's really taken me by surprise that I've won. Uh, uh, I really wasn't, wasn't expecting. I was, I was reading the, uh, the finalists earlier and I just thought, oh, I've got no chance. There, there's so much amazing work going on. Uh, so I'm just bl really blown away to, to, have been, to have won, really.